Good morning, folks. It is a little after 2 a.m. We're going to start trucking at 10, but we talked to the trucks and I kind of figured we'd get a better day if we just started a little bit later and ran all day so that's what we're gonna do gonna get everything warmed up here and get some coffee and we're gonna get out there and do some some night trucking well chuck what do you think it's a little early guys but uh we talked to the trucks last night and you know, with 10 p.m. start and then <clears throat> pit being open till five, we actually, uh, we just decided to push our start time back a little bit. So we chose to start around 4 a.m. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go down there and get the machines warmed up. And we're just gonna run from 4 a.m. all the way till the pit closes. That's, that's what we're planning. Boys are getting suited up. Gonna go get these loaders fired up. Oh yeah. Let them warm up a bit. It's pretty darn cold out there. I went out there already. And uh, it's definitely a little chilly. Looks like Chuck's still a little sleepy, but I think he'll get going here. So it's a little after 3 a.m. and coming up on the pit. So we're gonna go get these loaders fired up. Trucks are showing up at right around four, we told them, or they told us, I guess, but looks like, uh, looks like there's some activity out there, so we're gonna get moving, guys. It's a little crispy out. Got over here and uh, tire was a little bit low on the front so we're just to be you know so we don't have no issues we're gonna, gonna back this thing up and get some air in it mike's pulling up park right here right here's that's fine a little bit off so we're gonna have to uh, hook something onto it and pull it out so we can get it aired up okay this ram as you can see it's off just a little so we got the tow strap hooked here the other one hooked there we're gonna suck that tire out and get some air in it tire. go ahead and work it back Chuck A little bit more. More. Yep, keep going, you got it almost. A little bit more. Bounce on it, bounce on it just a little bit. That, that, that ought to do it. Let's get some air to it. We'll see if it'll, uh, it, it should air up. Okay, so we got the ram. As you can see, we pulled it, sucked it back. Now the compressor died, so we have to get that fired back up. <laughs> okay, we're out here. <laughs> we got the Jeep hooked up to the tire, got it pulled out. Of course, as luck would have it. And I, that was like the first thought when I woke up, or when I came over here to start this, was it probably needs fuel because we were using it a lot last week. So now we're out of fuel. I got uh, Andrew's gonna run up and see if he's got a little bit of, a little bit of fuel. We're over here at the Motel 6 and there's so many cars. I mean, these guys have literally just blocked all these trucks in. So we're supposed to be going, we're supposed to be running right now. And we've got vehicles 
blocking the trucks from getting out. There's that guy. I don't know. You have to find out who, where he's staying at. <clears throat> and then we've got, looks like a Jeep up here and some other cars. So it's going to be a big problem here. All right, that hurt really bad. I fell, <laughs> actually hit my head on the ground. So uh, probably shouldn't be filming and walking through ice at the same time, not paying attention. You definitely got to watch your footing out here because uh, I just fell pretty hard in the parking lot and it hurt. But I don't know what we're going to do about getting these trucks out. So this guy's bed is the gates locked or stuck. It looks like frozen shut. So I got the Mini X over here fired up. Gonna see if I can just reach in there. All right, well, these guys from Southern California definitely don't have the experience in the snow that some do. And I told them to leave his locks up. Just leave them up. We don't need them down, but they froze up. So we're gonna try to get them to break loose. Master operator Chuck on the Mini X. Looks like we got a pretty good chunk out of here. It's kind of a unique area. It's, it's actually probably wide enough for like a skidster with a bucket. Definitely not big enough for a loader, but we got to get up in there under the eave and all that. That's why we kind of hatched the plan to bring the, uh, the Mini X over here. So he's kind of making a ramp right now. Just ramping that stuff up and then we'll have our trucks pulling in right here and loading. So here at Union Bank, I've got this area here that was dropped and then we're dropping this on the side. And if you could help me out with the loader here, that'd be great. So we got three guys on Union. We're about getting through it. We just got that little bit more to do and then we'll be done. One of our trucks there. We got another one right here. And we're just loading this guys out as fast as we can up under this eave. It's kind of a it's like a tight area. You can't really get a loader up in there. Um, I got Chuck, he's got that grading bucket on there. Loading them out pretty quick, so it's working out. The skid steer over here. Looks like that'll speed things up a bit. I'll have Mike just keep pushing the snow to him. And uh, see if we can't just hurry up and load this thing. pretty fast he's just grabbing it grabbing it grabbing it that's pretty close to as fast as a as a bucket I would say so we had the, uh, the 950 came up with a, a low fuel rail pressure so we figured it's a uh, it's got to be the filters only had that thing up here for about two days three days and uh, it we probably didn't even run it like 10 full hours but we got mike here in the loader loading these trucks we're running four trucks on this job this is bt trucking that's our broker on this project they've been real understanding with all the problems we've had have trucks sitting all day yesterday these guys had to sit in their room all day it kind of sucked but uh, everything's working out real good right now, so we're super happy and blessed that we're moving and working and everything's going good. So we'll check back in with you later. It's a lot of snow folks i mean we we got the front about three quarters of the way now we're about not quite half with the back got quite a ways to go got a couple uh shovels here from high country got guys up on the roof trying to keep this thing moving this is a monumental amount of snow at this project right andrew oh yeah we're getting through it though andrew's the manager here and uh, he's 
better than most managers, I'll tell you that. Out here watching this thing, making sure everything's going smooth for us, really helped us out a bunch, making this thing as efficient as we can. It's a lot of snow, guys. All right. Okay. So we got our, our propane tank exposing crew. We're going to be uh, getting out there for Amerigas. That's our list right there. Okay. These guys are going to go expose a bunch of propane tanks so people can get their propane. Uh, we've got about 2,000 propane tanks up here that are okay. buried in snow, and Amerigas needs to make sure everybody has gas. So this is definitely a life and safety issue to make sure everyone has gas. It's been quite an eventful morning, as you can see. Uh, I, made a, I made a bad decision last night, and I, I thought, you know... Pit's gonna open at 10, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna let my guys sleep in till 4 a.m. and the, the and then we're just gonna run all day. So I'm regretting that decision right now because we got over to the hotel and as you can see everybody was blocked in. So now I've got I think four trucks out of six that are blocked in until we can get somebody up at the hotel. I went and talked to the manager, which was, it was just crazy that, that he didn't have any of the vehicle information for, for anybody that was parked in his parking lot. So, and they didn't have tags in the windows or anything. So normally I, every hotel I've ever been to, right. And probably you too, but uh, they want to know your make of your vehicle, the license plate, all of that stuff. Um, he's like, I don't have any of that. We don't, we don't take that information. And I, I was just thinking, wow, you don't take any of that. So if you have an emergency, like you don't even know whose car is where. Today, it's about three o'clock, almost three o'clock. And you kind of got a glimpse of what happened today. It was a much better day than yesterday. Uh, we got a lot more done. We're definitely getting things moving here. So we've got a lot more days of this, um, probably 10, 15 more days. Hopefully we can uh, get through everything that we need to get through. And that's what we're trying to do. So I hope you enjoyed watching a little bit of what we did this morning and up till about lunchtime or yeah, maybe a little bit before lunch. But uh, like I said, Things went pretty smooth today, so I was pretty happy. And back in the office, I gotta get paperwork done every single day. If I don't keep up with it, it's uh, it just gets away from you. So thanks for watching, and I'm looking forward to showing more different um, aspects of what we do, and I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Uh, follow us over at Instagram if you can. Uh, that'd be great, and I don't really post on there too much, but I'm going to try to start working on it more. Uh, again, thank you for everything. Uh, like and share the video. Um, get the word out what we're doing. We're, uh, we're having a, a really good time up here. It's, uh, it's, a, lot of, it's a lot of hard work. It's a once-in-a-lifetime type of thing. It's uh, something like what I've never done anything quite like it, so it's just been a... Uh, you know, I, I mean, we've done, we've been in snow removal. You know, this is this is actually our second year doing it. I've been up here, you know, seven years and second year doing snow removal. And, you know, a lot of people up here don't um, really appreciate that, that I'm new at this. Um, I think, you know, my team, we do a pretty darn good job for, you know, not having 20, 30, 40 years experience. I hear that a lot. You know, I hear a lot of guys telling you know my guys or other people you know about how they've been up here for 30 or 40 years and uh that's great you know that's that's awesome and you know hopefully i'll be up here for 30 or 40 years and uh we can all you know be happy but uh yeah i mean two years into it um you know moving a lot of snow for a lot of different accounts and uh you know, we're, we're getting our feet under us. Things are starting to take shape and there's a lot more to come. We're not gonna be stopping anytime soon. So to all you guys out there that have been supporting us, it uh, really means a lot. Thanks for all the uh, support on the previous videos. It's really, uh, it's really good to know that a lot of people are behind me on some of the issues that I'm facing up here. And um, I just really appreciate everything. So again, hope you guys enjoy it. 
uh, and I'll get out of here and try to get you something good uh, coming up either. Maybe, probably not tonight, but I'll probably get another one out tomorrow. So thanks a bunch.